it's time for that game again. Ah! No spoilers for the one hour left on the final mission to watch. Oh, Maxi, you mean you, we we took like a month off XCOM, basically, and you, you you're only just about to catch up. <laughs> I love hearing about your room wall, though, Isaac. I love it. I'm glad you're getting into it. Oh, you mean Dick Bricker? Oh, Dick Bricker, right, right. <laughs> this is the worst Nick from October. I'm sorry. MJB cry. Welcome everyone. Some stuff came up and we didn't play it. It's come for a month. How y'all doing? If your war lasts this long, contact the doctor. Look, chat's getting right into being funnier than me already from the start. So thank you very much to AMD before I get sidetracked. Thank you to AMD for sponsoring our stream. Thank you AMD for giving us the power to get back into the long war. Sorry, it's been a little bit of a break. This is the RimWorld streamer. Yes, I wish. I wish I was the RimWorld streamer. I would love to be the RimWorld streamer. I'm, I'm honestly just... I'm all about RimWorld right now in my brain. I love it. I was just telling Isaac how, because I've got that mo melee mod on for RimWorld, where um, it adds like basically, I just keep describing it as like Metal Gear Solid 5 moves, where as you get higher melee skill, you can tell your units to like, Everything by the uh, you can tell your people to like, just like auto do these, these knockout and stun moves, and they make really loud noises. So I'd left um, my lone wolf who's sleeping outside by themselves. I forgot there was a raid coming out. I didn't realize I'd left the Rimworld unpaused as I alt-tabbed. Bless you, babe! Didn't realize I'd left Rimworld unpaused, so I'd alt-tabbed. And the next thing I know is I just hear this giant fucking noise like, THUD! I tab back in and my lone wolf has been woken up in his bed by someone punching him in the back of the head or something. Like, bruise from one of these two raiders and he had just immediately auto got up. <laughs> and like, knocked one of them out, <laughs> and then proceeded to like, pull his little fucking gun out and shoot them both. <laughs> it was fucking great. <laughs> it really says, oh my god, because I got a gift about the curse of my- Oh, you got the Mongo love! We love, we love Mongo love. We love Mongo. Isaac says, yo, we need that Twitch overlay mod for XCOM like yeah for Wimworld. Uh, now that I have a taste of it, I absolutely want to be a damn sector talking shit where you take your turns. Yeah, well, I, I don't know how that's going to work now. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe in the future sometime. And uh, it's come to or something. But it's a lot of fun, I, I agree. Playing through RimWorld recently, with that Twitch overlay mod on where everyone could talk and stuff, uh, was exactly what I was hoping for for, for XCOM Fish Integration as well. So, definitely, um, def definitely very fun. More games should have it. It's a lot of fun. Goy says, happy to see more Long War, hope to see more Star Sector 2. Thank you. I also really, 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 really enjoy um, Star Sector 2. Um, it's it's one of those things where with Long War going, and I probably want to play RimWorld on my fourth day now, um, it's going to be hard to fit in Star Sector right now, but it sucks because I really want to play Star Sector 2. Like, I want to do like a next run, uh, a next run run next with my, uh, like, like start up a colony or something. I've got too many good games to play at the moment, which is great. It's a great problem to have. You know, we love to have that problem. Is it Star Sector 2? No, 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 no. I want to play Star Sector, comma, T-O-O. -O. <laughs> yeah, it is harder, Isaac, definitely. And, and remember, the Fog of War is not vanilla, so um, you're a trooper getting through that. But I like the Fog of War. I think it makes the game way more interesting, um, not being able to see everything at once. Having the sight lines. Battletech, please. Yeah, I mean, it's a Battletech 2. There's, there's lots of good games I'd like to play. Wish there'd be RimWorld I want to watch at least once. Um, so I'm probably gonna do XCOM today, XCOM tomorrow, and then RimWorld on the last day is probably what I'm gonna do. Um, you know, I, I've started pretty late here, so we should get into the XCOM uh, before I, I waffle for too long. But nice to see you all again. Uh, and I kind of got a, you know, we had a little bit of a break here for a month. It's been a month since we played XCOM last, so I need to make sure I don't make any mistakes here. I did briefly watch... Uh, the end of our last VOD to kind of catch myself up, and I th I've got to remember all of the intricacies of late game right now, but it hasn't been too long. As far as I remember, we're trying to get Firestorms up around the world. I think we wanted a couple of Firestorms all over so we could have good defense. Um, want to keep those spare satellites up so that we can save nations um, when they fall out, because we do, we did recently basically take over, um, the entire world back from the aliens. The US is here if you haven't been with us for a while. Um, you know, we're all good. India might be leaving this month because they've just got maxed out panic and we haven't really got a way to fix that at the moment, which is unfortunate. 
<laughs> yeah, right, and Crudon, exactly. So if we're going to the world, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I love it. I love to hear it, Isaac. Um, I just, uh, I have to make sure I don't get too caught up in it because I gotta stream the XCOM. <laughs> God damn it, I'm cool then. <laughs> I feel like I should time you out. I'm gonna let chat decide. Wait a second, where's Thanos? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! How is our uh, fatigue going? <laughs> uh, the XCOM crowd is a special kind of crowd. Each game has its own flavor of crowd. I want to play more Battle Brothers just thinking about that. We're going to keep up on our Psy as well. We're going to be doing Psy. Where is the most important Psy Trooper? Um, Karx. Where's Cox? There, five days. Okay. We only need to do one more mission with him. Then he can get back into the Hey Potato Planner, get back into the uh, the side training. Because we're trying to just get Cox to endgame here. Basically, isn't it at this point... Do, isn't it all we have to do is... I keep thinking, how do we end this fucking game? <laughs> we're in that stage of the campaign now. Don't we just have to kill the Overseer? And then do the Temple Ship, like Gollop Chamber? We, j we literally just have to get- No, 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 we have to cap an ethereal too. Cap an ethereal... Story research, right. Cap an ethereal... Um... Get the firestorms ready, and we can just put all the firestorms on one continent and wait till- We don't need to own the whole world. We can just put all the firestorms on one continent and wait till the overseer flies over it. You only gotta shoot down one overseer, we only gotta cap an, an ethereal. <laughs> you want to learn how to win Total War? You're Total War, Isaac! I look forward to Total Warhammer three times. It's going to be good to have you around for that. Two fires could take an Overseer or a bit in a minute. Yeah. We're going to down the Overseer, not blow it up. We're going to cap the Ethereal, which, you know, it, if we know we're going in for it. I mean, how many Ethereals are in an Overseer is in the command pod? Because that's a guaranteed Ethereal spawn. Ah, oh, Shadow Chamber. Once we get Shadow Chamber, we can also send A teams to cap. Just one? So there's just one ethereal on the Overseer. What else is in its pod? You have to get a max side trooper, we have to cap an ethereal, and we have to get... Because we don't we don't need a rift, we just need... We just need mind control. One ethereal and a couple plus two elites. That sounds like a pretty easy pod to cap on, honestly. Potato Planner says, yeah, you captured an ethereal in the TNX Overseer. Yeah, that sounds like the place to do it. So... Really, we should be setting up for... We should be setting up for downing this Overseer and continuing to level up Cox. And, you know, I've said a lot of pretty words um, before about we should end the game with all the countries satellited. I've never done a Liberator's win before. You know what? Fuck that. I want, I want to win this fucking campaign. I want to be done. I'm a level with you. I want to win this fucking campaign and move on. <laughs> it's been a long war. How? When did I fucking start this campaign? I know it was earlier in the year. How much earlier? It was this year, I think. I don't think it's been a year yet, but I... I want to push through. The Subathon helped push through some of it, but then we took a break again. 2017. <laughs> I, I want to win XCOM again. I'm ready to win. I am ready to win this campaign. Absolutely. So I just want a beeline. New new campaign blend into the same campaign. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because this isn't the one from last year. Alright, well. Oh no, the Bombay Stock Exchange declines after repeated alien attacks scare off investors. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, is Asia doing okay, by the way? Uh, yeah, it could be better, but we're doing okay. Boom. 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 New Firestorm's coming. Seven days and 13 days. I have one laser cannon. Oh, and I have an extra plasma cannon, do I? Nice. So these two both have weapons already to switch to. That's cool.
First VOD is dated uh, 2021 418. It's been seven months. It's been seven months. Okay, half a year basically. Laser ain't gonna do it versus the Overseer. Yes. Yeah, the number of Vice just needs EMP cannons. Yes. Well, Plasma can take down an Overseer too, right? We don't need EMP if we have Plasma instead. If I have three Plasma Cannon Firestorms, and don't I have another one building? Yes. If I have four Plasma Cannon Firestorms in one continent, that's enough to take down a, an Overseer, I think. Though you don't guarantee to shoot down. You might get unlucky and blow it up. We can enhance Plasma coming as well. How many Plasma Dragons do I have? Do I have any of these? I can't remember. Oh, I have... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, lucky boy! I have two of them. I don't have a mech one yet, so we still need to cap another elite, clearly. We still need another alien heavy weapon, but once I get one more alien heavy weapon... Oh, we've got the enhanced plasma coming for the plus one damage. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> that sounds fucking cursing, right on. Uh, I don't want to research anything here. But we'll come back exoskeletons. No, we literally don't need this. We don't want these mech threes. Um, we can't do EMP weapons. That requires too much Illyrium. And I don't think I want to spend the Illyrium on stealth systems because I don't want the ghost suits right now. Or I think in general. So yeah. Once that research is done, you can make plasma pistols. Ooh, true. Should I make them now? It costs a lot of Illyrium. Like 2 to 3 MP Firestorms can down the Assault Carrier. So hang on, is EMP better than Plasma? I thought Plasma was meant to be better than the EMP at destroying things, but EMP was better if you wanted to, to take them down. Better armor pen. So EMP is just better than Plasma for fighting bigger armored weapon uh, ships? I don't understand. No, no, no. We went through this. Plasma is better for the killing. But EMP is better for safe shootdowns. Don't fear disc, they're dumb unless they can grenade. Always fear disc. I think it's just Overseer that EMP is better against. Ah. Ah. Okay. Alright. Anyway, yeah, I should probably save a leer. I don't really need EMP as bad then. Plasma Pistols. Who should we get Plasma Pistols on? This is 3 to 5 plus 5 to 7. That's going to go to 4 to 6. 6 to 8, I think. 4 to 6, 6 to 8 compared to... Where the heck is it? Where's Laser Pistol, man? What the hell? Fusion lenses so good, dance this for in one shot. We do have that, but we need to go through EMB to get the fusion lenses, I think. Yeah, we, we want the extra aim on infantry for the pistols. Though, six extra aim is probably not worth losing, like, three damage. Maxi says, I tried plasma pistols, I didn't like them. As plasma pistol in your infantry will be the same accuracy as your rifle, which defeats the point of view the accurate finisher you've been using pistols for up until now. True, but you do sometimes run out. You do sometimes run out of uh, ammo and literally need to use it as that. It does happen sometimes. I guess not too much. Look for the six. You have six of them. There it is. You're right. Because, I mean, you're, you're going from two to four, four to five to, like, four to six. You're getting plus two damage. If you weren't using lock on let's say the point number there. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it is handy, but... Emotionally, it feels good to have that extra 6%, but being real, that 6%, it, it is significant, I suppose, but it probably feels better than it actually is, chance-wise, for our infantry. I would be surprised if that was actually making a huge deal in uh, missed shots versus hit shots. I'd say it's making about a 6% chance. So, I don't know. I, let's just say that between that misgiving and the Illyrium cost, I suppose we can wait. You don't overkill on captures. Eh. 
Well, we'll see. Is there any other foundries I want to do here before we move on in the strategy layer? I'm just trying to have a sort of getting back into it moment here. Excuse me. Did I miss a mission? No, we're... I started really late, so you haven't missed nothing. Hyperwave Relay. I'm already building it. This is the Shadow Chamber for XCOM 1, isn't it? I've already forgotten. Hyperwave Relay. This is this is good. And then we just have to delete labs for Gollop Chamber later. Perfect. Alright, I, I think we're good to just keep going then, right? I don't think I'm missing anything here. No, I, I only started basically like 15 minutes ago. Uh, that gig, so... Nexalt is dead. Hopefully like a nice easy mission to ease me back into the gaming here would be kind of uh, appreciated, I think. Slippo. What's Slippo again? Slippo is not ready for tank. Beagle, have you seen a new rock wrap? Rock wrap? about that one big and about what what did I say weapon sergeant easy mission oh <laughs> right Dwayne Johnson did a rap well you know good for him good for him three alien pistols for uh, a weapon sergeant seems good Dude, this Battlefield Portal looks good. Well, I hope so, because I really... Uh, you and I agreed, didn't we, Sammy, that you didn't really like, um... Didn't really like 2042's test. So I would hope something about it coming out is something I'll enjoy. Just you need those alien pistols? I don't know. Nobody you've talked to is like 2042? No, me neither. Been watching Portal gameplay, it's like straight port of Bad Company and Booth into a new engine. I mean, that sounds good. So mechanically as well, like it works the same. It's a straight port. That definitely sounds good. I would definitely be interested in that. Same gun feel, same class mechanics, same maps. Interesting. You should uh, link me where you've been watching that. I'd like to watch it too. Does it actually look newer? I love BF3. Oh yeah, yeah. Link it to me, Sammy. Link, link, link me up, Chief. Whoa. Actually, sh wait, 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 wait. Cancel the music. Should we even engage this? I mean, you're bombing India. W will I get a panic reduction Our from taking out a bomber? At maximum capacity. Because you're already almost required. maxed on panic anyway. I feel like India's fucked. You reduce panic if you get a mission with the destroyer. Okay, then it's definitely worth it. Start the music again. Contact detected. <laughs> Start it up again. I wish to start with. Really? Mm. I don't want to use more dodge modules, but I might have to use one on Marlin. Let's start with the Rook. And see how this goes. Bangs out. If it goes really badly, I might not be able to handle this. Wow. Oh shit. Disengaging. I don't think I can really take that without spamming a lot of dodge. I have some, but I kind of want to keep some, but... No, I have super caps. Is two disc wrecks worth another base up mission? Yeah, like... I feel like I have to commit here with the dodge. And try to get a mission and try to save India. Satellite uplink 
because I might be able to save India doing this. However, if I leave Asia open with a lack of air defense... Well, no, because even if these sats get shot down, I can just replace the sats. The problem here isn't losing sats. The problem is... I actually want India to lose its sats so I can put another one up. Sats are not the problem here. Alright, go for it. Does this even guarantee India doesn't leave? No. It doesn't guarantee that. Engaging bogey. Initiating defense matrix. Nearing strike range. Nice job. No mission though. But good job. And the dodge was very useful there. Now, what did that do for... Okay, barely anything. If we had a mission, maybe we could have got it more out of it. It did do a small amount, but not a lot. Need more firestorms. Probably need to move some interceptors around at that. Let's send... Who's living easy? uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Africa's living easy, required. and Europe's living easy. They're flight officers, they won't do much. So I'm gonna do anyway. Contact detected. Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha! They're coming! Remember, if we don't really care about shooting that a satellite's gonna shut down anymore, what really is the point of our air game at this point? If we can just, like, spam satellites, and they were talking about this in the XCOM channel earlier this morning, they were saying, I mean, if you can just replace the satellites, it's actually more economical than an air game at a certain point when you don't need to do anything else, I guess. Like... What do I actually need to keep my, my guys in reserve for? <laughs> it affects the whole continent, yeah. Panic, yeah. I guess I don't need the... Wow, oh, shit! Contact detected. Gets the emissions, yeah. So I, I don't need to hold them in reserve as much. We're in pursuit. I think. No dodge module here, definitely not. Approaching target now. Good job. Alright. Well, we hope there aren't too many more UFO missions in Asia till that Firestorm comes back online. Because their interceptors are out. All right, so we've got 36 hours on that and we're gonna have to wait a bit, I think. Now, a big dangerous thing I've got to worry about, <sighs> big dangerous thing I've got to worry about here is losing my touch for what mission difficulty is like and what kind of teams to bring here. You might have to help make sure I don't make a big mistake here, chat. What do I have to wait for here on the 20th of April? For a crashed raider. Now, a crashed raider is a uh, radier. A crashed raider is a serious mission. So, I mean, pretty much anything is a serious mission at this point. So, I don't really want to do much training. Yeah, they're all shit shows now. Yeah. So, I mean, I've got a good medic, good infantry, uh, good gunner, good gunner. I think you're both hollow, if I remember correctly. Yes, you are. Yeah, another gunner. Half hours enhanced plasma, too far for this mission, for sure. So who do I need here? I need a sniper, a heat gunner. What else do I even bring? Ah, a good scout. Sniper, two hours. More infantry coming. Brit. Ms. Boo, the hot heat gunner. 
very good. And da -da 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 -da. scouts? No scouts. I can get Argus out of the tank for a scout. I'm probably gonna have to. So I just gotta wait for Ms. Boo. Oh, my, my heat gunners are so fucking far out. Damn it. I could just take no heat gunner, just two hollow gunners. Because otherwise it's gonna be hard to, with, with my heat gunners so fucked. I should probably just take two hollow gunners here instead. Which means waiting less time. I need Nita for a star. I need the sniper. Shadow Chamber's nice revenge and heat roster. Also true. You sustain losses on heat gunners, I remember. Yeah, I seem to have taken an inordinate amount of losses to my heat gunners. Because it seems to be I only have three of them left out of ten gunners. Which is unfortunate. So some of them are just lower. So rather than waiting 23 hours from his boo here, I can just like go ahead, take Brit as well. And no matter what, I'm gonna have to bring that scout, I think. Oh no, I have um I have Tech Sergeant Scouts. Tech Sergeant is fine. I think. Because what are you missing out for? You're not a combat role. You're missing out for the sprinter and extra con, it's fine. I have Tech Sergeant Scouts, and that's more than doable. So I can take Lord Krillin, I can keep training you, I can take Lord Krillin on a crash rate, a raider, should be fine. Uh, we can take, wait, Zero Rocketeers? Yes, welcome to the campaign! We can take you, Nita, good to see you again. Kairos. We can take... Ra and Kath. Take. I guess both the heat gunners. The fact that we don't. Uh, both the hollow gunners. The fact that we don't have a heat gunner here. Okay, yeah, my team's ready. The fact that we don't have a heat gunner here means don't skimp on anyone else. This the scout. Okay, fair enough. But don't skimp on anyone else as much as you can. Bring master sergeants, everyone else, and then we've got the shogun as well. I don't think there's any other shoguns to bring here or any other mechs to bring here. I could bring flying fajitas if I wanted to and try to get a master sergeant. But I uh, probably don't worry about it. Probably just save her for a future mission. Yeah, let's just take who's ready. Let's just take uh, Black Viper. And check everyone's gear here. Brit! Remind me to come back to the infantry afterwards. I have to make sure that all my loadouts are right here. I've lost my loadout foo a bit. You are looking good, Brit. You are looking good. So we take the respirators on the snipers now. That's right. Is ABB dead or did I just miss him on the roster? Oh, no, no. Anime Big Boy is alive. <laughs> Barely. I think he nearly died recently um, to some heat run-ins, but he's all right. Mech for cover direction. That's the Shogun. Yep. I'm just going to more carefully double check on my gear here before we go out. Normally we take a bipod on you if we have the uh, make up someone else, but we don't here. Plasma Dwagon! We have the Plasma Dwagons now. Excellent. We have the side screen, respirator, and reinforced armors. We love that shit. We have our scouts here with... Um, I have walker servos now, too. So this is why we tend to put... Um, the extra make it on the sniper now because instead we don't bring med kits on the scout we go well we often go mental stuff now do you have a, a mind fray you do have mind fray so it could be useful we can go walker servos it is a what is the map for our vegetation we don't need you to run as fast as hell lord krillin we could instead give you a neuro regulator and shit or probably Cognitive Enhancer, more useful for you here, just leveling you up. Just trying to get you higher. 
get you a permanent sprinter rather than walker servo is now sprinter. Next he says, without extra con, I prefer keeping my scouts concealed unless it's the last alien in the pod. I mean, I definitely agree with that. Uh, it would probably be good to have walker servo just to go real hard, go real fast with you, I think, Lord Krillin. Let's, let's make this mission a little bit easier on myself, you know? Let's not make this any harder than it needs to be. Plasma Carbon. And then we've got a bunch of smokes. Too many smokes, really, on you with Packmaster. Too many. Too many brothers. There'll be three here. Nine total. Too many! We don't need nine smokes. Too many! Probably two slots of medkits instead, or, or, you know, just really anything else. Extra medkit. I mean, extra Arcthor. Anything else, really. Get our mech with Railgun. These Shoguns are built for... Except for the Battlefield Portal on Discord. Grazie. Western Semi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cap or chem. Mm -hmm. Max C says, you can consume all your make it from just one wound at this rate, so I prefer Savior. Yeah, I mean, probably the extra make it is worthwhile here. Collateral damage, damage control, automated third assessment, repair servos, and shock absorbent armor. Not heavy on the mines here, please. It's all about that shoot. So we want a standard loadout for you of punch, flame, and kinetic strike. Looks good to me. Attack sensors, core armory, and battle computer. It all looks good to me on you, Black Viper. Past Beagle was wise indeed. Wise indeed. Yes, very wise. Okay. What a delectable pun, whip smoke. Let's go an extra set of medkits. Stud says the stacked flamethrower and KSM look cool on the one hand, and I'm seemingly unsafe from the other, there's still a person there after all. Oh, you like the, the, the punch module that's like a part of the flamethrower? So do I. How cool is that, right? I love it. I'm a big fan. The only thing we're not fitting in here is an arc thrower. Which I should be bringing on all these missions, but I think just after a month off getting back into the game, it would be wise for me to stack everything in my favor. I am just worried though if I miss out on like, you know, what if you get that ethereal who's down to 1 HP and you're like, ah, I could have done it. But, um, okay, apart from that, we would then have... I wanted to come back and double-check the infantry. Now, we found out recently that combat stims will, I don't think, actually helps for resisting psychic damage either, like rifts. So really, the main use of this shit is sometimes it's helpful for tanking, and sometimes, like, you'll you'll cheese yourself and get the extra... or you'll get hit against your aim. I should probably start cheesing my infantry more for this, as needed. It's a lot of extra aim, that, the scope and stuff. But what other items could I bring here, basically? I could bring the motion tracker on you and put an arc thrower on one of the scouts, or on the scout. I could put the arc thrower... ...on one of the infantry, that doesn't make any sense. I'll like platings to just get swaller again. More med kits. For no missions. Wow, yeah, it's been a long campaign, Dakutin. A long campaign. I should probably try at least one mission with the cheese strap. It's gonna lower their will. 
but increase their aim. And depending on the kinds of enemies I'm facing, that can be a good or a bad thing. So I'm probably just going to keep the Berserker Stims for now. Plus Crude Atom or Plasma Stellarator. Yeah, that would be wise. Targeting Module or Plasma Stellarator. I think with Bring'em on and, and their critting, uh, a targeting module wouldn't be the dumbest thing ever. I think we've been through this before, too. Wasn't there two different crit items you can get? I think it was Laser Sight gives extra crit chance. Well, anyway, we're going to keep them with those for now. So, this is the loadout. I think it's good enough. Really, I'm not going to feel comfortable again until I get back into the swing of things. So let's just swing like Spider-Man straight back into the XCOM. Let's have a go. I got a little breakfast bun I got to eat over here too. I can't forget this. I need my sustenance. Touching down. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. It looks like the alien crash site is in a remote area. If we move quickly, we may be able to secure the site before the aliens have time to regroup. Let's go gaming. BII. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay. Chills. Now you're making me remember, didn't I think Jeff pinged me and was like, there's like a chills AI bot. Sure, if you're sweating enough blast bang on the armor. Not sure. <laughs> I, I love blast betting. Make your soldiers look like tanks of ERA. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, that's nice. Got a nice, uh, nice amount of ground covered there. You might ask, why does Beagle motion track and concealment at the same time? Because, you know, aren't you wasting your resources that way? Couldn't you just conceal? I find that motion tracking just gives me a pure confidence, a pure and innocent confidence to move out with, uh, you know, even when you conceal, you can get fucked on weird line of sight stuff. Like, okay, you move to here, but now if anybody goes anywhere off that exact path, you might get a weird line of sight, like a floater behind a tree or something. So I like to do both. The consumer keeps you safe while you make these big dashes to motion track and make sure, okay, you know what? This whole area is safe. And that's good to know. So we know with confidence that we can move out up to the uh, Lord Krill now. It gives you that buffer range. Yeah, and exactly. You don't want your scout and lost either. Exactly. They do slightly different things. But once we were... Uh, that's the other reason to use the trackers really nearly as well. It's once you run out of the trackers, it's all good. You just keep using concealment just a bit more uh, safer. So, we found out last time that this hill doesn't give height advantage, I think, for gaming. We know a hill that does. There's a really nice fire base over here on the left. Um, and we know that that's probably the, the most dominant we've ever been on this map. Is when we held this uh, little fire base over here. It doesn't have good cover, but it has a uh, height advantage. And you just smash the whole map out of cover and you, you just go to town. So... We're going to move up with an idea to be moving left at this point, rather than right or middle. Yeah, exactly. You don't want your scout trapped either. Exactly. Exactly not. Exactly not, my friends. Ten four. Maxi says that hill there is known as Rift Ground Zero, my campaign. Yeah! Yeah. Already dead. Love that voice back. Good copy. Moving on target. I know it, it's it's meant to be one of the XCOM streamers, isn't it? But to me, that voice back is just um, Soviet 
Soviet medium tank, Soviet heavy tank from Red Alert 1 every time I hear it. Acknowledged. Look at four. I'm cool then says milk is sold in opaque bottles because light destroys vitamin B2. What? Yes, sir. Sank your sank. But it's not. In it all our milk in Australia comes in transparent glass. Not, not tra transparent plastic jugs. Fibulicious says, I thought we were done playing XCOM forever. No, no. No, no, not quite. Aye, aye. Sounds like you're going to get enough B2. <laughs> what are you all talking about? Position. Moving out left. B12? Vitamin B2. Okay, riboflavin. Oh, riboflavin! Hang on. The symptoms of B2 deficiency include skin disorders, skin disorders, hyperemia, excess blood, an edema of the mouth and throat, angular stomatitis, lesions at the corners of the mouth, chiliosis, swollen, cracked lips, hair loss, reprodu oh shit, reproductive problems, sore throat, itchy and red. Maybe I do need more B2. I probably do have too much blood. And not enough hair. <laughs> I, I probably need to drink more milk. Get, with the, get the leeches. <laughs> Fast forward. Folks, can you turn around the ravages of a milk deficiency? If I started, like, drinking more milk now, do you think I could tur turn around my, like, sadly hairless existence? I'd like... Stepping off. I'd like more hair. But not on my head. I, I, don't, I don't care about it on my head as much. I, I, I quite... I'm fine with my Hold hairstyle. On. I more want... <laughs> Like a big, shut up, listen. A big, a big rug of hair on my chest. That's what I'd really like, actually. Where does Jam want your hair exactly? It's not really about what I want, you know. What I would really like, Isaac says, "God damn it, I got hair fucking everywhere. It isn't my head." See, I'm jealous of you. That's right, a carpet man, <laughs> a carpet man. <laughs> <laughs> carpet man! It's <laughs> a fucking way to describe it! <laughs> Solid copy. I've never heard that described that way before. <laughs> Contact! North. That's, that's literally making me blush. I can feel my cheeks heat. <laughs> I don't even know why. I'm kind of worried about moving out left here, because if there is... If I move to here, I will get patrol spotted. If I move left in this contact left, I will reveal that. Maybe over to here instead, and we'll try to push along to here. Heading to that location. No, it's, it's, it's less about what I want or need, Chad. It's more, you know what, I think... In I feel like Jamble deserves like a big barrel chest of hair. On the move. I feel like I should work harder to attain that goal. Double time. I gotta involve more exercise in my life. More. Yeah, sure. Right, and frankly, frankly, she deserves 
You're talking about something else, but I'm talking about Jim. Be careful of unrealistic masculinity standards. Oh no, I, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, I Back to the alien turn squats. Yeah, I was doing that to not get fucking Time to DVT. But yes. Roger that. Bands of Shrek says picturing is like only think of Saxon Hale. Saxon Hale is basically what I'm describing, yes. The peak male body. No, I didn't buy that bike. I too would like to walk around and play XCOM in only a pair of khaki shorts. Alright, where to now? You'd have to start wrestling yetis. I mean, you know... Squirrels. Sometimes you have to do things. Squirrel. <gasps> Look at their little hands! <laughs> Look at their little hands go! Closer, closer, I wanna... <laughs> Holy shit, that's, that's even better down... <laughs> Can I just watch the <laughs> squirrels for a second? <laughs> That's amazing. It's like the engineer thing. Nope. Another example of something that looks absolutely fucked when you go to a camera angle that was modded in. <laughs> oh my god. But if you watch it as Jake intended, at the zoom and angle Jake intended, it's actually just fucking... Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Perfect optimization of your art assets. Fraxis are gods of game development. Now, what I can do is move it to the left. I should get people more in a position first before I get too crazy. I could throw a scanner out as well. That's what I could do here. Let's run to the left. Position. Unless there's a scanner... But isn't scanner beagle, isn't scanner your best bet for using the firebase? It is, it is. We shouldn't use a scanner like that. We shouldn't, we shouldn't. We shouldn't, we shouldn't do that. We should not do that. Let's get people more into position first. I thinks. Okay, boss. I thinks, I thinks. Can we do the fire tree next? Turn the clear to the corner, then pivot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think you're right. I think I think you're right. Running. Let's bring you up. Get these gat gunners in position. Moving out. Oh, TK field gunners. The worst! Wait, no, that's good. TK, TK Field Infantry was bad. TK Field Gunners is good. Let's move Britta here. Okay, je bouge. Je bouge. Move the sniper over to here. Kyra's Heading back out. to this spot. I'm being a little slower. A little more careful today because I'm just getting back into the game today. I'm just trying to be good at it. There is something out. Saxton Hale, buddy, you're right. Ideal form. Roger, tracking. Everything by the numbers. How can I... How can I achieve the sex and hail body? Without being drawn by that artist. Everything by the numbers. A hair toyed, yes. <laughs> I, I, this reminds me. I actually saw a picture once that... I, I, I did a double take at because I was like, look, it's me. But I was like, no, it's not. It's... it's 
It's like me if I was cool. It's like a it's like a Doom picture or something. And now and now that's flashing back into my head, I'm like, actually, that's really that's really my my ideal form. God, where's that picture? I wanna I wanna show it now so people have any idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Me if I was cool, dang. No, you don't understand, like, cause it has has like a similar kind of like a similar look to me if I was like manly and cool. <laughs> look, I can say it. I can say it about myself. That hurt you for some reason? Oh damn. Sorry, Sprats. <laughs> I wanna move up to here. Um I'm probably gonna clear up to this tree next turn. Maybe let, let's let's clear it now. You shouldn't activate on the left. There you go. I should be able to move to here now. Without activating. Yep, yep, yep. A little worried about pulling the loss here, so we won't just yet. I I gotta find it, honestly. I gotta find out after like after this mission, I gotta like this dig it up. Getting it done. Actually you go here. And I'll show you. That's just the, the poster you put on my wall, really. Of what they aim for. Isn't Kubi would just... I'm here, Kagri. I don't know who that is. I don't know who or what that is. Ooh! Delicious Meldios. <coughs> okay. No activation. Confirm. On the move. <laughs> Melvio is part of a balanced squad wave. On the move. Literally, what would I do about my chat being so funny? No one has any idea. Aye, aye, Commander. That's what we're looking for. It's like I'm just the camera and everyone else is the stand-up. Isaac says, be homeless. Sammy says, die. <laughs> Sram <Sarah> says, die. <laughs> You'll just say, die. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh shit, I uh <laughs> misclick that. Heading out. Sha sha sha. <laughs> Gonna edit the dashboard up for stream. Oh, what can you do, uh Jeff, with that? That's interesting. What does that let you do? Five million views? Oh cool! Is that like lifetime views? Or if they can use when? We ain't playing three kingdoms, we're just playing um Cafe when Cafe comes out. Similar vibes. There's something out there. Oh my god, free melt! It's been secured. <laughs> Five. Oh, aliens! Aliens, you have seen better days. Order says, dude, six years past, still XCOM, love the consistency though. Hey, what's up? Well, I just started playing it, it's gonna be again after a month off, but I guess it's about relativity, huh? <laughs> what's up? How you doing? Why play through kingdoms when you could have a, a hot dragon girlfriend? I already have a hot girlfriend. She's not a dragon, but she could be if she wanted. In the grand scale of things, you're very consistent. <laughs> Maybe. That's right, a hot GF who creates many other hot GFs, that's right. I get to have many hot GFs. Okay, so we're gonna move to the firebase now and start collateraling. Tabby says a lot of streamers would have jumped shit by now, TBH. Well, I mean, one, usually because I fucking can't. <laughs> and two, it's just such a, it's a fucking great game. You can just keep playing it. I mean, if they'd made a better XCOM Enemy Unknown, XCOM 2 is great, but it's its own different thing. I keep coming back to the game because it's good. At the end of the day, and people want to see more of it. It's a testament to the quality of the game, and it's a testament to how few real competitors there are to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yeah, so I, I guess we're doing the firebase thing again. I mean, we don't have to. Probably what we do is come and set up up here. Do it, do it. 
And then for some reason, this gave height advantage, but the other places didn't. Set so your gunners up here. This doesn't look high enough to give height advantage. Is this a different version of the map? This is only two. You need... You need three for height advantage, I think. Nice to see you too, I'm glad. What I really want is, uh, subject Jesus is it's like that slow burn fic on AF3 you like, but it only updates every three months or so. <laughs> um, you know, speaking of RimWorld, it's why I really want to, like, make RimWorld turn-based and more like XCOM, because I want to get some of this feeling in my RimWorld campaigns, mixing in with the simulation colony stuff. I, I know I've done this before, but chat, help me out here. Is there a different version of this map where this is higher? I think there is. This doesn't feel tall enough to actually have height advantage here. I don't, I don't see how this works, because if that doesn't have height advantage, then this definitely wouldn't have height advantage. And yet this does? I guess the only way to find out will be to try it out. But... No, I'm, I think it was a slightly different version of the map, but that doesn't make sense. There, there, isn't, there isn't two ver versions of this map. There's only one version. But, but, but I know, I literally know this will not give height advantage, and yet I know I've done it before. What the fuck? I know I've done this. But it shouldn't. But it does? But it... I'm losing my fucking mind right now. Chess Master says uh, RimWorld already has crashed more than the one from last week. It's pretty close to XCOM. <laughs> well, well, um... I found a really fucking awesome mod for that too. That it basically just puts this game into RimWorld, more or less. Um, that t makes it so it's Mechanoids Expanded, uh, Vanilla Mechanoids Expanded or something, right? And it has this insane cool mechanic, and please just let me talk about this for like one minute and then I swear I'll pick a strategy uh, in this mission. Um, it's really fucking XCOM. It's basically, it makes the Mechanoids into this race that there's none of them on the planet at first, I think, or not, not these new ones. Uh, but then they land ships on the RimWorld map, on the world. And they, they have like, you know, ten different types of uh, Mechanoid ship, right? Uh, and as a mechanoid ship lands on the Rimworld world, um, it ups the mechanoid strength on the planet. The more mechanoid strength on the planet, you will start getting raided by mechanoids, and the more strength there is, the harder those mechanoids will be. And if you let that mechanoid strength go hard enough, they will all get advanced versions of themselves as well. Basically, uh, it's combining landed UFO missions and alien bases with resource growth from Long War into one thing by the sound of it. Um... And you can go into these these ships and destroy them to get rid of them. Pretty fucking cool, I think. Pretty fucking cool. It basically puts like a lot of XCOM stuff um, vibe into Rimworld, which I think is really fucking awesome. Um, you know what, Lord Krillin, we're gonna move you up to here. Okay. Is the mechanic progress permanent or does it revert as you fight back? So yeah, if you blow up their ships, you lower their strength again, so they stop raiding you as hard. So you want to actually go out there to take these mechanoid ships out. Um, to lower their raid strength. Banzo says I can't even kill tribals without losing three dudes, what the fuck? <laughs> Yoink. Yeah, sometimes it'd be that way, yo. So I'm really excited to play that. Like, my, I think like something I wanna, my one of my ambitions right now. Ambition is a good word to start using for this. Ambition. One of my ambitions is to, you know, basically tweak even more that kind of feel into RimWorld and kind of have a bit of both. Have that fun colony time and then have the, uh, have the have some more like strategy fights tactics in it as well. No, I did not like Phoenix Point at all. <laughs> no, I didn't. Let's move to the side. Solid copy. I really dislike Phoenix Point. Extensively. Yeah, people dislike Phoenix Point in your video essay form. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to ask about it at least once a stream though. <laughs> I was probably too mean to Phoenix Point. I don't know. 
I was probably pretty out of pocket in that game. I'm sure if I went and watched that VOD back, I'd be like, oh man, you know, I could have been more professional about this, but you know what? I fucking hated that game. And there was some, I think, some personal, some shit that was personal for me about it too. Do <laughs> you think the game you do like? I mean, now's not the time for it. Alright, stick to the plan, Jim. Yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely been aware of Terra Invicta. I'm not sure I like Terra Invicta though, because it's uh, more strategy based and seems less tactics based, but maybe, maybe it'll be good. I mean, JL and uh, Manarian, the Longworth team, they're smart people. So that at least implies it'll be a good time. Gate and Oslo. I run. Didn't the devs actually try and fight with you? Kind of. One of them did. Which is... <laughs> which was part of why. <laughs> Probably I, I was, did not hold, feel the need to hold anything back. I did not feel a kinship with them. Yeah, Sally <laughs> says I played a bit of TI in the beta and I think you it has potential that? but absolutely needs to delay. Cool. Sammy says Solon's playing the new Battlefield Portal thing right now. He's on hard server that makes the game more tactical. I was talking to him and he mentioned he joined another server that was zombies or players that are against 60 super fast knife only bots. That's cool. Sounds really fun. Aye, aye, Commander. And can can every user set up something like that? Like if me and Jam got it, can me and Jam just do that? Or does it have to be like you have to go to these dedicated servers that do them? No, yes, anyone can do it. That's cool. I like doing co-op stuff with Jam. Maybe maybe we'll end up trying the game again. We really didn't like the beta, but maybe we'll try the game again for just for Portal. I'm reading chat too much, I'm not getting enough done, sorry chat. Be easy to try and focus a bit more here. Position confirmed. Would room level be improved in an air game mod? I mean I'd fucking love it. Like honestly? I'd fucking love that. I'd be fucking sick. I'd love to try it anyway. That'd be so fucking cool, like, you tech up, like, mid-late game, like, you've got, like, like, mid-game, you've got, like, fucking... Because there's already vehicles and shit. There's literally already mods that add in, like, F-15s and Phantoms and, like, jets and all this shit. Yeah, just let him fucking fight on the world map. Just let me shoot down mechanoid ships. Fuck yeah. Let me mid-game be, like, sending, like, shitty jets up against mechanoid ships. That sounds fucking dope. I want that. Yeah, there, there's a... Save our ship. Buzzkill, that's right. I think all of the aircraft mods that can do combat on the Rimworld tactical layer, colony layer, are just, like, bombing runs. I don't think they can actually do, like, different kinds of weapons. I don't know. I'm not very experienced with them. Here, let's... Let's get the gunners up here, though, again. I don't think this is gonna work. Rimworld's cool because it's so moddable. It's, it's cool to to say a lot of this shit, and unlike a lot of games, be like, yeah, that could feasibly be made. Like, that actually could exist. Someone may have already made it. Yes, Somehow Star Sector and Rimworld fused together to be separate tech and strat layers. <laughs> Heading to that location. I literally had a feverish thought about that when I was playing Star Sector and Rimworld together. I told you there. Now I'm not sure I'm actually gonna fight from here, because again, I don't think I'm gonna get the hide advantage, but. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm gonna give it a try. And until it's proven that I'm not, we'll come and coalesce over here because we haven't even found an enemy yet. We want to get some eyes on enemies first. What was that? I don't want to go for the UFO aliens first. I want to find the aliens that are on my right. They're close. They're close on that right side. You can hear them. 
can hear the little feetses. Aye, aye. Click, click, voice. There's something out there. So the real question here is how hard will they be? How hard will the enemies on my right side be? Will they be hard enough that I have to be really, really careful? Moving to position. Or will it be a small and easy enough pod that I can just split through them without wasting much time? That's what we're kind of finding out here. How how careful do I have to be? How hard will this be? So it's time to let just look for trouble now. I want to move back up. Okay. There you go. Mechtoid pod, classic Mechtoid pod. Um, hard if they get close. We want to blow up some trees here and get rid of the deal with them. Now we need to break line of sight. And we need to open up line of sight here. I mean, this will be the perfect time to test the height. I, I, I know in my heart of hearts that the height will not work here, but this is a perfect chance to confirm that. We need to get rid of this tree to do so, I think. This tree is in the way. And so we will. Okay, collapse that. What the fuck? Oh, this shit's in the way, I see. Back. Affirmative. Heading for that location. Position confirmed. Steady. Bomb. 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 This. These rocks are in the way. Or that. That tree I see now. Back over there. So that's good. We have eyes on a pod now. And that's good to basically tag them. Now I want to come over to the left, probably. Solid copy, Commander. And tag the feet I hear moving around in the UFO. I see them. Oh, they're teleporting now. So that we got lots of mech. Naturally, on the mission where you don't bring a heat gunner, every pod is mech. Listen to that. Fuck. Naturally, on the mission where you do not bring a heat gunner, every pod is mech. Or is that just this one pod teleporting five times in a turn, perhaps? Could be. Could be. Position confirmed. No engagement yet, real ninja. We're taking it real slow today. I think it's just him teleporting, actually. Being weird. I'm on it, Commander. Hello there. Fuck, outside our pub. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're stuck now. Rapidfoo says, do you think outsiders ever see XCOM and go, fuck, Crippen Tree Pod? I think they do it all the time, yes. They give me a new position. So we want to start blowing them up. Get rid of uh, the cover they'll use to fuck with us here. Let's take care of these spots of heavy cover because we want to snipe them all the way in. And we can 
see these gunners definitely out of range, but that's not totally unexpected. Scout's stuck there now. Hopefully the mechanoid doesn't TP right in my side. Well, mechanoid. Why not wait for have actually taken that cover? Because they'll just take upper cover. I can't get all their cover at once. I, I don't want the Shogun in range. We're going to destroy the cover in advance, then move backwards. Have you checked the new version of Long War 2, Long War of the Chosen? I have not. And I'm not incredibly likely to. Hello, girls. Hello, Tango. Hello, Salsa. How are you? So our goal here... We do still want to leave some cover. But overall, get rid of everything that they'll use to advance on us. We're preparing for a fight that's to come. What's to come is that five outsiders and a sector commander are about to start running towards us slowly and awkwardly. Um, and we want to get lots of sniper shots and LMG shots on them as they come. So we're getting rid of all the cover they will use to advance on us. the high ground yet. Not until we have loss on our t squad side of target, unfortunately. So a little bit of downtime here. A little bit of watching and waiting while we blow up some cover. That's called a zoom in. Looking for we're just blowing up cover right now. We're just preparing the battlefield before them them's come. You can probably dash from here to here. So if I get rid of that log, it's not the worst thing. We do want to leave some Everything some trees there. that we can concealment rush to. Because every tree we leave as a concealment point is handy in allowing us to scout. So you want to have well, like probably one tree left here to scout from, so we can go scout. Okay, see them out here. One tree here to move back up on them, so probably leave this tree and this tree. Kill this one, kill this one, all of that. That one, yep. Burn all this shit. So we've got like uh, two or three more collapse at least before we want to engage this pod. Especially because we're pulling the outsider pod first. We want to make sure this is perfect and clean. Because doing this wrong gets us fucked up. Because then we pull everything on the map at once. From every angle, it's going to be bad. So we want this to be clean. As clean as we can. Gives me some time to eat a little bit more breakfast. Concealment scout in loss of the outsider pod means we are now committed to activating that pod if we want to use our scout again. Blood that up. I'm on it. 
Even I don't have the patience for Shogun collateral get damage gaming anymore, honestly, chat. Even I don't. I just want to kill him already. I want to kill these damn aliens. I'm impatient, which is how I know I'm not on my game for a late game long war. That's how I know I should be scared. Probably leave that one as well for concealment scouting. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to not have to like lose a soldier. To remember how to play the game this time. I don't think that's what they're saying, Jeff. I've got no patience, man. I just want to rush in there. I just want to pull the scout right now. No patience. This man's got no patience for XCOM. Take a month off, and the man's got no patience again. No patience. Let's blow this tree up and then pull it, I think. An impatient man. Oh, speaking of things, by the way, I forgot. And now for the best part. Wait, I never checked if you had height advantage. No, you don't. So we literally know. I guess it was. I guess there's two fucking versions of this map then. What the hell? I'd love to see someone go and grab that VOD, the one where we use this firebase, just so I can stop feeling insane. There must be two versions of this map, and there must be a version of this map where. Is that a landed raider instead of a crash? There must be a- no, this one is only crashed because the fire is always over on the right. There must be a version of this map where this is higher for some fucking reason. That's such a strange variant. Your gun is a one tile lower than your scout at the moment. Mm, no, what you're talking about. Wait, there's a side? No, I mean, height is height. It's fucking weird, hey? Pull you up here. Use that flappy armor. Which means I need to move my gunners up. I think maybe on the other side there's a half step more. Nah, it doesn't seem to be. What is that noise? Just nothing. It was just the wind. On the other side of the map where you face the UFO door? No, no, I know where I am. I know exactly where I am. I need to move the gunners up then. To engage here. Moving. Moving out. That definitely makes this position less good. Be sure to be sure. This 
a bit in the other hill. Yeah, I mean, it's still a better position, but it's just not a height position anymore, unfortunately. Time for a shot, I guess. Let's activate. Only 11. Five outsiders. Get my dice out. Dust my dice off. Two. They're all stuck over here. Three. Four. Five outsiders. Got a shot on you here, but you do have Kaver. If I move slightly up, I can get rid of it. And then the worst thing that's going to happen to you is maybe one moves up to here and shoots you, basically. Maybe two at worst. Like, the absolute worst thing that could happen is the, the commander mind controls you, but unless... you got to hear that shouldn't happen. And we can get rid of one of these outsiders right away, which would be just really, really cool. So I'd say let's try for that. Let's go. I can I can hold it for one more turn, right? Yeah, I think I think I have one more turn of staying here before they can really flank me. Especially if I blow this up. So let's go one, two, three. Maybe, yeah, you should be alright. One. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ich bin schon auf dem Weg. Fuck you. And hopefully it doesn't break the ability to gun you. We go hard on the left in case the method pod teleports back. I wanted to go on the right. So that, um, they can't mind control me from this tree. Now let's gunner gaming you. Plasma dragon! Oh, hey! Plasma dragon! Eh, yeah, fluke. Might be worth doing a command here, I have three of them. Just to immediately get rid of one of these, uh, one of these outsiders right away. Because outsiders are that numbers game. The more of them they are, they can really, they can really rush ya. So I think probably just start it off with let's let's get rid of you. Make sure Nite can see though. I'm trying to select you first. Eh. 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 Yes, you've still got target. One, and okay, let's go. Come on, Nita. Finish that one off. Better damage. Better damage, folks. Better damage. And a shot on you as well. Get some damage in there. We would have liked the crit there instead, but, you know, can't have everything, unfortunately. Can't have everything. Now the sector commander is the scariest thing on the field here. 
But as long as they don't do anything too nasty to us, we're alright. Go backwards, that's alright. That's alright, chat. TV slash Beeps and Jam here. Time for another day of fishing and XCOM, and that's alright, we don't mind that. That little critter's just a bit scared. We'll let him run, that's fine. They're all going back to the UFO. I think it's fishing, I want to go fishing. Fishing is like something that I don't have the patience for or enjoy that much in the times I've been forced to do it as a child in real life, but like in video games, I tend to enjoy it if it's done well. It's like I like everything about fishing except doing it in real life. Do you know what, I, do you know what I'm trying to say? I like video game fishing, I don't like real fishing. Because <laughs> video game fishing is way more fun than sitting around doing, to me, not much at all. I like fish. <laughs> fish is an excuse to have a nap beside the water if you put your bait on here, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> There's a difference between fishing and catching fish. <laughs> Offer Neon says, wait, so you don't like to sit around waiting for enemies to come to you to catch shoot them? Ah, shut up! Ah, shut up your face! Speaking of which, alright, so... It's time for another shot here, I guess. And I'm gonna pull the scout back. Yes. Pull that scoot book. Pull back, pull back. Position confirmed. Everything by the numbers. Isaac says a few years ago I went with my brother and a couple cousins to a cabin on an island and we were literally catching a fish every each every 30 minutes. That was fun as hell. It's kind of fishing in light. Yeah, that sounds dope. That sounds fun. That sounds fun! On my way. I don't like to eat fish either, like, I, I don't want a fish to, like, even kill or eat any fish. I like video game fishing where it's like, oh look, you caught a fish! Hooray! Reloaded. Tricky says the problem with fishing is, I found, is that once you've done it right, you have a fish that you have to touch. <laughs> Alright, Cassie says, fishing's really just one of those activities you're meant to enjoy, but others waiting for the conversation. K kind of like this stream, as someone has pointed out. You ever look at Red Solstice too? Uh, I did. It was alright. It didn't grab me. The combat didn't really grab me. Bit too much action, bit too little tactics. Rolling out. Starlight Crusader says fish have a nice texture, they're nice to touch. Alright, that's your opinion. What do you think about touching fish in Cronon? Is it good or is it bad? In Cronon says I don't want to hurt fish, but I don't trust them either. Very respectable position. I actually agree with you. I agree with both those things, so I agree with you and Kudon. Ooh, perfect. Speaking of our own fishing. Oh wait, crap. Ah! Ah! At least you didn't mind control. Idiot. Isaac says, I'm over 30 years old and too squeamish to get the fish I catch. And you remember to do it for me. I just think that's cute. I don't think it's about age. You're just a good boy, Isaac, who doesn't want to hurt those fish. Or maybe you just don't like blood. And either is valid and fun. Yeah, it's time to blow that log the F up. 
So no one's surprised you hate eating fish and Gridon. I don't like eating fish either. And Gridon, we agree on more things than the average gamer would think. Believe you me. However, I probably need to eat more fish to get my barrel chest with hair. So, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to change it up. Jam sometimes talked about like, you know, like growing little plants or something. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should become a RimWorld streamer and live the RimWorld life. I, it's easy, right? You just go out and you just, you just pick the soil that looks good and you put rice seeds in them. I'm gonna turn my whole house into a, a colony. <laughs> oh god, that sounds so bad. <laughs> That's like, t top 10 things said by white dudes before like, five years later. It's like, whatever happened to Beagle Rush? Oh yeah, he's like a cult now. <laughs> His house became a compound. <laughs> Understood, moving out. <laughs> Incredo says, Rear boom, Miri has eaten bones and plastic. <laughs> yep. Zajela. The uh, mind goblin is dead, by the way. So that's good. Miri is a very good little troublemaker. I have very unhappily recently kind of realized that I think I just, I've been stressing because she keeps trying to hoover little bits of fluff and I keep trying to stop her. And I'm very unhappy to, I think, kind of just realize that we're just gonna have to set aside like fucking thousands of dollars. But I think pet insurance is really bad here in Australia. I think we're just gonna have to set aside like thousands of dollars for when she inevitably has to go to the emergency vet again because she inevitably does it to herself again. I don't like it. I fucking hate it, but I don't know how to make, I don't, Without being able to communicate to her with, like, words, I don't know how to look my sweet little daughter in the eye and tell her, you need to stop eating little bits of fluff off the ground. They are not delicious crumbs. You are going to hurt yourself again. But she sees the little bits of, uh, you know, little fluff on the ground, these little mites of it, and she goes, you know what? I am a harvester. I am going to put it in my mouth, put it into my stomach, and my stomach is the filter. My stomach will filter out the delicious treats from the, uh, the, the other matter. Har harvester? That's basically what Miri is. Miri is like a little, like, CNC, like a little dune harvester. She just goes around the map of our house. Get a rumble to compete with her. Yeah, uh, we've been thinking. I've been thinking it would be good to get one of those pet pet hair rumbas maybe or something. Put chili powder all over the ground so she learns not to lick it. That sounds fucked, but maybe. Maybe if it saves her from dying. I have to ask like a pet trainer. Alright, so let's try to kill you. has gained traits, spice lover, skull for unit tolerance increased. <laughs> so you, that's how my parents told me to stop sucking my thumbs? I don't know if I like the sound of that. No! You fuck! Get up here! Got him. Come check the right again. Orders confirmed on the move. Mm. 
Got him. Yes, Commander. Crap Food says this is why I think laser pistols will never go out of vogue. Why couldn't you have just said style? Why'd it have to be vogue? Did you really need that word? Smoke up. I don't think they should get inside of me without. I don't think I should need the smoke. Uh oh, they're coming. How many outsiders are left now? I've killed two of them? Because Vogue never goes out of style? Fuck. Understood. Moving out. Rapper who says, sorry, Beagle, I go to college. Oh, okay. Okay, champ. Alright. Alright, bud. Get an I went to a college twice. I was about to say once, I went to a college twice. And I fucking dropped out of both of them. And I'll do it again. Got it covered. You both got CK fields. Good for you, honestly. I'm ready. Yes, not Australia. You home college? I was homeschooled, but no, I'm talking about um uh, I, I immediately after leaving school, first I went to a uh, game like uh, like digital kind of like digital arts place basically like a game design course in like a digital arts college basically not digital art um digital digital skills I don't know what the fuck you call it game game development kind of place different kinds of stuff different for different kind of roles. Let's go, uh, plasma rifle, Overwatch. And then the other one was, uh, film school, basically. Asian Google says that's impressive, I only dropped out of one college. Yeah, I did it twice. Just to make sure. What was that sound? Digital scam, same as I, says Alpha Neon. <laughs> yeah, I dropped out of both of those, because I found them, I didn't like either of them. And I didn't feel like I was learning a lot at either of them. I don't, I don't like, I did, I, I, basically what I learned from both those places is that I really do fucking not like, um, <laughs> higher learning. I do not like academic learning and I prefer to just learn things by doing them or reading about them myself, self-study. I really do not fucking like academic learning, it turns out. But then I'm also not trying to do like uh, I'm not trying to be a like a doctor or anything like that. That you go to like college, college forever. So. Moving to designated position. No, I just fucking hated it. I hated the whole experience. Did not like. Sure doesn't help that I made like, didn't really make a lot of, didn't make any good friends at either. I made some at the, the game one. At the game one, the alpha nerd on campus there uh, began referring to me as Big Weege because Smash Bros was played. This was the, the late 2000s of course. Smash Bros was played as of course it would be. Uh, in the, like, common area of that place where it was in the city. And of course, I'm, I'm a Ouija main. And did alright. Made good showings of myself. The big what? Big Ouija! Luigi! I met another person there who was an acquaintance while I was there who painted me some, um, 40k sniper minis that look like stalkers from the game Stalker. That was cool. But other than that, just didn't really enjoy. I felt like there was like one course that I liked. I was gonna drop out of that one. The uh, the film school was was not as good for making any kinds of friends or acquaintances there. That was my class was about five people. Do you still have them? Show me it. Yeah, I still have them. They're they're in my cupboard. I'll, I'll send you screenshots later if you remind me to. Um. It was like five people in my class. I really did not enjoy the class because it was like. Right about the golden age of Hollywood, and it's like, no, I just want to make YouTube videos. Um, <laughs> which I ended up doing. I do remember a haunting social moment. Uh, by haunting, I mean, it, I, I think of it often, where... 
<laughs> there was like th three dudes, one one woman and me in that class. Um, two of those dudes made better friends of each other, and I remember one one day because it was in the sea. It was like, oh, let's go to. Like, I think I was in a conversation with them or something, or maybe I was like on the side of them. It was like, oh, let's go to let's go to let, let, let's go get some food. Let's go to KFC basically. Let's go to, go get some food. <laughs> and. Yeah, the, the three of us walk down the stairs out to the street level in the city to go to like the nearby food court and we make it all that way until they turn to me down there and look at me and go oh, oh no we just meant like us <laughs> it's been like 30 seconds of walking I was just looking at them like oh yeah right right I think about that sometimes, in my worst moments. <laughs> Good ammunition. <laughs> I think everybody knows the feeling of things that happened a long time ago, but you think about when your brain's trying to bully yourself. We'll take one of those. Here, let's uh, blow this outsider up. And <laughs> took some there. Now you can get lunch with your beautiful wife whenever you want. That's right! And I dropped out of that, though not because of that, but um... I'm sure it didn't help that it wasn't even written that I really liked either. I think the last thing I made there was um... That like, little boom school video. My first- I think that was my first video on YouTube actually. But it's- it's private, you can't watch it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, then I dropped out of that, because I just- it, it was getting to that point where it was, like, really, like... Theory, it was like, yeah, study and write about the golden age of Hollywood, and was literally the thing that made me go, you know what, this fucking sucks, I can- I- I value my time more than this, I hate this, this sucks. I do not want to write about the golden age of Hollywood. I want to, like, go out and film shit, actually. And so I did. Getting it done. Let's, uh, put another shot near you. And that was our two, that was my two, two college experiences, I guess. Not, not real colleges, it's not like, not like when you hear about Americans talk about it, it's like, oh, I go, I go to this college, I go to that college. Like, these are just fucking places in my city, in, in Brisbane. Um, they, they were small and you just went there for courses. It's not like this fucking, like, mythical, it's like mythical shit that, like, American college is in, like, all their media. Uh, for me or anything like that, no. Just little courses, but which I think is more normal anyway. What even is the golden age of Hollywood pre-Twitter? No, it was like the 50s was what they wanted us to write about. And I was like, actually, I... no. I don't want to research all semester and write about this. Boom! Nice shot. It's definitely not a good golden age. I, it also wasn't very interesting to me either. You know that meme that's kind of like, wow, I kind of don't fucking care? That was kind of me and I just dipped. But I, I like the community colleges, what Americans tend to call that, yeah. I like, um, I like the parts where I got to go out and, like, do shit. But it was the same with the game design place. With the game design place, I had one course that was actually about games, and then the rest were, like, how to, like, use Office software, like Excel, and, like, a whole course, like, how to use Excel and Microsoft Word and shit. Um, there was, like, an, an art section of it where, like, you know, like, uh, you, had, you had to draw, like, fruit, a car, and like a, like a nude model basically was I think like the three classes that I was there for. And the car, the car just drove me over the edge. I was like, I want to draw a fucking car, I fucking suck at this. <laughs> Cold Age of Hollywood started in 2008 with Iron Man. <laughs> you fucking tell him. The car drove me over the edge, god damn it. Just draw a nude car. <laughs> 
That's right, you want to draw low poly schools of animated limbs. Hell yeah. Hell to the yes. I think I have a shot here. Only two outsiders left now, I think. Would you draw planes instead? I probably would have enjoyed it more, but... I just did not enjoy the teachers or the stuff. My brother, who is an actual game game developer, um, I remember because my mum my mom and I were asking him for advice before that and he was like, yeah, it's probably not worth signing up to go into that college. But between my mum and I, my mum was like, yeah, but it'll be good for him to have like a certificate or something and I was like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, sure, it'll be good, right? And also because as me, like, my, my primary pursuit was still playing fucking video games, to be, to be clear. So... <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm sure a part of my mindset at the time was like, yeah, well, it's something I can be doing to show that I'm doing something while I play TF2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. But uh, my brother was very right. It was not worth the money or the time. My brother is smart and experienced. <laughs> I'm sure you got out of that. <laughs> I'm fucking lucky I became a streamer. Say that much. Racer Khan says, the only good gaming course I know of is Digipen. It was Digipen, I think. <laughs> I think it was Digipen. Uh, in Australia. I don't know, do we have Digipen in Australia? Or was Digipen just referenced when we were talking to my brother about what kind of course it would be like? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I forget what it was. At this point, I don't remember. I would never write that, Rax, and honestly, that deserves a timeout. That is just... bizarrely disgusting. I need my... venerators and my... royal gods to cleanse... that message... from my hole. Tricky Ed says, I got a degree from a game program and I'm a professional game designer, but the latter is because of the former. I wouldn't recommend game school for anyone. Yeah, my brother didn't. Either. Let's go over here and get this last, second last outsider. Yeah, this is just fucking weird. Don't, don't write shit like that. The mech toys are coming. Let's get you. I wonder if I'm, I think I'm in hunt mode now, maybe? I think it's hunt mode time. Oh, that wall got blown up before by gunfire, if we were asking about walking through walls. No, no, it got blown up by gunfire is what you're talking about. So these guys are probably about to come into us, I think. One more outsider out there, we're about to have a new pod, I think. Here we go. Hunt modi, maybe. Not quite yet. Just do a uh, software engineer classic art mode, yeah. Hey, but I'm coming, by the way. Another person who, uh, yeah. What's up? How you doing, Kami? Kami? Did I remember to invite you to play armor with us? I can't remember if I did, but we've got armor going and it's actually quite regular. You should come join us if you want to. It's a bit harsh. No, it wasn't about that, Maxi. <laughs> it's all good. Let's um, reload. Looks like they're not quite coming into us yet. We want to get those overwatches where we can. Interesting split pod. Good time to strike, actually. If the gunners 
see that mechtoid. Why can you not see that mechtoid? Oh, because you literally don't have loss on it. I see. Wait. No, you don't. Okay. If... Hmm... Yeah, my, my brother recommended to me at the time in, in Alternative, he recommended get into modding, subject to you. He recommended get into modding and, you know, do stuff yourself and try stuff yourself, and that's a good way to get ex some, some really good experience. Yeah, Mechtoid's Mac Armaster of Lost Breaking, that's perfect positioning. Even even unactivated, that Mechtoid is hiding from the scout perfectly. I think a scan here could be valuable. Let's throw one of these ones. Eyes open. Some of you guys often use your mind. Yeah, well, no rush. If you ever want to, just wanted to make sure I'd invited you. So everyone's welcome. You don't need to be invited, of course. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven enemies. But can we double tap the mechtoid? That is the question. We can single tap it. Let's bring the other gunner over. On it. Next turn, we're gonna snap. Figure out why you, uh, like it, like something to learn that, yeah. Now I ended up dabbling with, um, gained it with someone for a time, as I mentioned sometimes, and what I, what I discovered is that, like, I, I had a com I've, I've always had confidence and I have a confidence in knowing what I like or don't like about games and, and being able to try and analyze things a little bit further, you know, sometimes I feel like I've got a skill at that, but I also learned I don't really have the, the discipline or you know, enough of the time or passion for the technical skills of game development to really be like, you know, for it to be something I ever do. As I originally once, as a, as a younger man, um, thought I'd be moving into to follow my brother's footsteps. Okay, they've all moved off now, unfortunately. That's why I found that there is a very, very big difference between making a game and modding, at least in my experience of it so far. And that I enjoy modding a lot when I can physically get my hands onto it and I can understand. Like, it's like it's set up easily enough that a, a, a simpleton like me can handle it. You know, like XCOM, where it's INI I file and you can do that kind of modding, but, um,. Once it gets technical, and, and also once you're like building something more from scratch, I just didn't find I really had the chops for it. Not as a, not about it being like a complete full-time commitment either. Wasn't your brother behind 100 Foot Robot Golf? Yes, and Roundabout. That game was amazing. Yeah, no goblin. Okay, so they've gone all the way to the right now. That scanner was a little useless there, unfortunately. But it does also reveal if there was any outsiders coming to get us from the right, which is part of why I wanted to throw it. Exactly, Subject G. Exactly. Coming to a game that's already good, like XCOM or RimWorld or something like that, and then adding, going like, I, this is a fucking great game, but let's just tweak this thing the way I like it more. That's, you know, to me, that's that's recreational. That's fun. That's enjoyable. I like doing that. That's satisfying to me. Because obviously, that's, it's a completely different ballgame. And there's always been that also just technical hurdle to me of like, unfortunately, I think I would like, I, I would like very much if I could mod at a higher level, but there's always been that technical hurdle of, you know, unless it's something that I can literally read in English and, you know, just figure out how to do with familiarity by just getting in there and messing it with myself. Um, 
you know, if it, if it comes to any kind of coding or really technical stuff, I'm just completely useless, and I don't think realistically I'll ever have the time or make the time uh, in my life to learn something like that and have the discipline to learn those kind of prof uh, uh, professions. The most I've done there is, like, with, with the armor, learning, like, SQF language there a little bit to make missions, but that's because of armor. Again, it's making a mission and then, like using the scripting to make it a little bit better. Or if you're getting like Freelancer or XCOM or anything like that, which I figured out how to mod, you know, lightly, it's like, okay, I can dig in here and I can see from examples how I can just tweak whatever values they've used here, and that's fine, but, um... Like, actually making shit from scratch more, like, like how RimWorld does, like, these, these mods are like, okay, we added fucking aircraft to the game, we added fucking this feature, it's like, how the fuck do you do that? You're like a wizard. You know, proper modding, you know, I, I can't do that, and sadly I doubt I ever really will be able to. But I always, I'm very impressed with people who can. It's going cool. Over. I feel, Commander. The first thing I feel. I feel. How's chat integration coming along? Um, I wouldn't expect to hear any more news about XM2 Twitch integration uh, for the foreseeable future, or not, not from me anyway. Uh, so that's that's kind of like a hiatus thing, I think, at this point, as far as in regards to me and, and context goes. I think would be my guess. I gotta like. I, I'm just really, like, not not seated well for XCOM today. Like, I'm really not focusing well. I'm too impatient and I'm too easy to drift off of it. Let's come back to here and try and keep an eye on you. Solid copy, Commander. I'm having one of those days where it's like with Battle Brothers or um, Battletech, when I'm drifting off it. I'm having one of those days with this now, trying to get back into it. But I have to, I have to keep playing this fucking game, because I gotta fucking win this goddamn campaign. We must be so close to the finish. God damn it. So is I'd love to, don't get me wrong, I'd love to play Rimworld right now, but we need to get back into XCOM, you know? Should I bring the gunners over here, you reckon? Where's their Vermectoid? They're both on top of each other. Oh, that's two pods! Shit! I think that's two pods. That's not good. No, don't go, don't go over there. I think come back a bit. Yeah, no, because if you give that up, you let the outsiders get in too close on you, though. Mm. Bring you two over here. Moving out. Yes, I copy. Just on the checklist. I was going through that earlier today. Yeah, there isn't much left on the checklist, but... <sighs> it's just a bit of time. It's gonna be a bit of a time sink. I think with these kind of... With XCOM, like... By the time Ethereals show up, you really want the campaign to be ending, you know, as a player. It's like, alright, we've seen everything there is to see. Cool. And now I'm feeling the fatigue. Yeah, alright, you fuck off. Are oh, you going back to play basic? Come on, I never have after one more, no. Never played vanilla XCOM again. The way I play, um, and the way I've built my roster doesn't help either for impatience, because I have a, f a squad that requires great patience. My kingdom to just be a whole bunch of, like, hard fucking mechs and assaults right now, and just be running gunning every pod, but that's not to be. I mean, the problem is, it's not just mood, but if I do fuck up here, because of impatience, I can set us back a lot. Maxi says obviously is the main one. Until it's done, you can't stop the monster of research to get gold for sonic armor. A theory ideally should be done the same as the overseer to get one or two people with mind control available to temple. So there's a lot of research to get to the end game. I, I don't remember that. Also, how am I gonna pull these fucking pods? They're just sitting still now. Fuck. Pull the seekers first, I think. No, because then the seekers reveal you and you. Mm -hmm. No, no, no! Don't do that. Roger that. Roger that. 
In terms of research, there's only two left, gated by behind ethereal capture. Okay. I uh, know it's it's hard to get back into it after a month off it too. I was already feeling the fatigue, but then coming back, it's like it's just like I just want to get to the temple ship. Like, come on, I'm really not going to get too much stronger than this. We've got master sergeants. We've got pretty much all the gear in the game. Come on, let's just go to the temple ship. Let's just fucking do it. Yes, I need you two pods to split up. Please? Maybe? Oh, do we just live here now? Do you have plans for after the campaign? Not yet. Just other games I'd like to be playing. I was going to play a lot of XCOM 2 after this campaign, but I'm not sure now. What I'll be doing. When or if or when of X comes to at this point. I'd like to play more Rimworld, yeah. I'd love to play more Rimworld. They're really just gonna sit there, I think. Open it's come. Yeah, another run of open it's gonna be fun sometimes. Yeah, they're just sitting still now. They're just sitting still. Alright, so let's try to use that to our advantage. Bring the gunners around to get ready to smack the mectoids. On the move. There's no firebase here anymore, so we may as well move. I'm we didn't kill all the outsiders, did we? I'm pretty sure there's still more outsiders out there. Beagle says, Beagle, I'll show the brand new Rimworld exploit if you close the XCOM game right now. You, you don't have to you don't have to encourage me. I want to, but... What do you want from Rimworld 2? I don't think there will ever be a Rimworld 2. I'd rather just um, mod my own ambitions to Rimworld 1 with help. And with maybe learning a bit myself. What the next two Twitch integration where they are secretly Baristan? Without bringing it up, here is something we're going to talk about um, on the stream too much. There was a bunch of community drama and fallout um, recently, which is part of why I took a month break. And again, without making this a topic, to table here on Twitch chat, um, two people who I've basically lost contact with were two people who were doing I was doing with and I was talking to about a lot of the modding for the upcoming XCOM 2 that I was excited about, so... Got it. That's why I'm not really sure we'll be doing MXCOM 2 at this point. Sorry, copy, Commander. Okay, let's start moving Nita over. That's right, Pibble. No, 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 it's fine. Not your fault. I just wanted to be clear, I'm not going to talk about it on stream or have it be a thing in Twitch chat because I spent a couple weeks straight on that and I am <laughs> definitely don't want to bring it back up. You're thinking of a Z levels? There is a Z level mod, yeah. It's not updated for, uh. Yeah, definitely ideas. Yeah, I've got stuff I wanna be doing and I am doing for a mod. Um, there is a mod that's out for 1.2 but not 1.3 right now called Z levels, which adds, um, underground Z levels like Dwarf Fortress for mining. It also adds overground Z levels for hills and for building structures so you can have a shooter up on top of a, a second floor. Which is pretty awesome, so. When that, like, it's a pretty big mod, but it's not quite updated for 1.3 yet, I think. Super sick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so when that comes out for 1.3, you can bet your ass I'm going to be trying to get it in. Because I, I, that's the one thing I'm always super jealous of Dwarf Fort for. I love the idea in Dwarf Fort of how you delve greedily and you delve deep. You know, you, you, you start out on the higher levels, but you go down lower. And these stories of, like, players who go down really deep in their minds and uncover like demons and huge legendary monsters and all this crazy shit but you get like the rewards to go down there for the risk of like the better materials and stuff and it's like yeah like I'd love that in a sandbox game like playing RimWorld I want that I want to be able to like dig down and find like okay like behemoth insectoids and shit like that you know that'd be fucking awesome to me I think that sounds cool as hell 
Play some Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, but I don't like the rest of Dwarf Fortress compared to Rimworld. I've tried playing a bit of Dwarf Fortress. It just doesn't really click with me. You know, texture pack or not, as inevitably someone will helpfully now say, okay, you just need the right graphics pack. No, I've tried graphics packs. I'll probably play it, try it again when it comes out on Steam. Ha, <laughs> Skamonikov is asking right now. But uh, it's just... just didn't find it that fun to play, honestly. It's one of those games like EVE where the stories about Dwarf Fort have brought me way more uh, enjoyment than actually playing it myself. One of those games I wish I could enjoy, but I just fucking don't. So, we're back where we fucking started. I'm like a member of chat now, I'm fucking telling myself, like, Beagle, you're so fucking slow, play faster. Yes, boss. Jess is used to really be in the door fort. I could see that, Jeff, I could see you as a door for. I want to play more Battle Brothers again too, man. I want to play another Battle Brothers run. For real. I want to play a Battle Brothers where you like... I wish I could play a Battle Brothers campaign where you just have to defend a settlement. XCOM Battle Brothers. Not a sandbox, just defends like the whole time. One, two, one, two, three, four, six. Okay, and they're in sight. Do they have high ground? They shouldn't. Have you seen the uh, Battle Brothers Legends Perk Expanded mod? Uh, no, show me- Yeah, I played of Legends, granted too, I love Legends. Perk Expanded mod. No, what, anything good in it? What is it, what is it like? Link it to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check for RTS, yes, thank you. Thank you, chat, I owe you my life. Executioner, rapid reaction. This is dangerous, I can't kill them both without heat. Unless the infantry in range. Maybe the infantry in range. Maybe I can kill them. One, two. My head is fucking swimming trying to play XCOM today. Executioner, rapid reaction. This is the thing about Long War. This game, you should play it in one sitting, it feels like. Because you, you, you stop playing it for too long at this point in the game, too, and your head just swims. My head just swims trying to play this game again, where it's just like. There's just. It feels like such a perishable skill to play this game, like... Because <laughs> I talked about this play in the game too, where I was like, Oh, like like a few months ago, like, oh yeah, me, me, uh, seven months ago, I would never have played this game this well then, right? It's such like a perishable skill. Like, you have to be in it. It's like a real fucking war. Like, you have to be in that fucking combat, and the minute you stop being in this fucking alien combat, you start to lose your skills. You start to lose that edge that makes you really effective and, like, vicious as a commander in this game against the aliens who are vicious back. Like, you're just gonna be able to see these things and just make these decisions quickly and just know and have that gut feeling. And I'm floundering right now, which doesn't help my feeling of being like, ah, right now. Okay, but both the infantry are in place, so that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Well, let's finish one of you. Point one sitting. I mean, I mean, yeah, like... It's easy to, like, pick up a new campaign of Long War and start learning it again, but it's hard... Well, even that has its problems, but it's hard to... get back into a late game one. Okay, so we're gonna try to finish you now. I don't think I can just snipe you, but an infantry shot... Boom, boom, boom. Maybe another gunner shot. No, do an infantry shot. That is not enough, man. Okay, let's start working on the other one. So you have a uh, light him up? No, that was the other one. Get some shred on gamer. Hmm. 
Gaming. Good. We need some more shot here. <laughs> ah, that's what you like to see. That's better. Good job, Brett. Okay, now between the two of you, I think I need to put another Gatling shot into one of you. Don't want to engage the Seekers. Let's Gatling you. Anytime, Beaks. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Brett. Finish the max at the back. With Shred, I reckon we can take you. Unless we get a really bad shot. Okay, we got a really bad shot. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this. Then we put Hollow into the sectoid. One. Fifty-one. Good job. Well done. Three sectoids remain. Cool. Three sectoids remain. One's coming. Mine merged up. All mine merged up. Charging around the corner. So that would be nice there. Oh, suppression doesn't seem to reduce the range of collat. Curious. Hello there, little friends. Goodbye. Brit has no time for you or your games. Go for number two. Nice job. Plasma Dwagon. One sectoid left in the pod. Ready to engage. On Overwatch. She play. At Overwatch. Did you snap in Lone Wolf range? Oh no, too close. Too close for Lone Wolf. Hello there. Oh yeah, nice shot. Nice shot. Good job as always from you. Now I suppose it's time for the Seekers. Twelve percent to crit. Let's open up on them first. Well, let's do a reload first. No reason to rush. No reason to rush. It's getting time. <laughs> She's all about it. Let's game him. Good shot. It's getting crowded over here. How many even was that? I should have counted first. Stupid beagle, stupid. One shot here. Three stealth, so six then. Yeah, I didn't count properly either, but I shoulda, but I didn't. 
Five. We get a little bit more flow now, this is good. Oh wait, I already shot you. What's... That's alright. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more flow now, he says, as he immediately fucks up. Local man immediately makes mistake. Let's scan her. I don't think there's anything too <laughs> much scarier in the map by the look of it. Six was a good call from whoever said three stealth. It's a good call. Yeah, this is looking like a lot of what we have to deal with now. You look a lot bigger than you are. That's funny. Let's hit you one. Damn. Let's Shot not hit you one. How the mission gone so far? Just one mission today, actually. Just the one mission, actually. Started late, and I'm going a bit slow today. Get back into it. Probably be uh, a shorter day for me today, I'm afraid. Nice shot, well done. Ah! Darn it. Did I already steady you or something? No, I scanned, that's right. I was like, what? That would have been silly, Beagle. I swear location. there's still an outsider out here somewhere, too. Bad shot. I'll get him next time. Let's move this sniper now, I think. Finish you off. Particle cannon yet? No. Not yet. Still railgun. That should be pod wipe, I think. Good job. In the zone does so much work. Oh. Yeah, that was literally it. Two pods and the command pod. There's literally nothing else on the map. I forgot I didn't have to take the UFO because I already, I forgot I already did the UFO. <laughs> well, it was all mech, just not as bad as I thought. I am continually impressed by the efforts of our troops, Commander. Very easy mission. this meld substance is crucial to our scientific pursuits. And I did ask for an easy mission and I was given one, so that's nice. Thank you, game. That outside was your imagination? I... I guess so, I guess I just counted wrong. Some businesses in perfect and shortening hours as- Ah, damn daylight savings! Damn it! They strike again! Well, we can research EMP now, and I suppose we may as well. Because that also gives us the Electro Pulse module, which will be useful to whack onto our mechs. So what would you replace for it? I guess the mechs... I guess some mechs that don't take proxies will take pulse... EMP pulse instead. Electro pulse. Get some side going. Um, what do I do with my infantry? Neural feedback, right? Neural feedback. Right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Electro pulse makes mech stun. What side can't panic? Yeah, electro pulse would be good, I think. And let me... Maxi says, uh, Electro Pulse I found is less useful once I found it doesn't affect floaters, heavy floaters with a stun. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh... Oh my god. I have something to send you after this, Jeff. Wait, what am I looking for? Oh, I was going to back up my save, that's right. Hang on. 
Then you just side panic them, so yeah. Yeah, you don't play Brawler. I... What am I doing? Backups. My brain is really fucked today, sorry. I'm having one of those days where I can't even pretend to talk and do stuff at the same time. Hang on. Yeah, I, I, I've got a picture to send you, Jeff. You might enjoy it. Alright, save backed up. I guess keep going. No matter what I do, it'll, this will max out their panic. We sure want in there! I wonder if this Content one's going to land. Just save everyone. I think if I literally, even if I literally save every sieve, they still get some, some panic. I'm not doing another base assault. I don't want to do another base assault. Fuck base assault. Oh, I never do another base assault. Bounty says if you save everyone, they don't get panic. All right, then we've got a, an easy goal, folks. 24 hours, which means I need... Heat hollow. have a scout, kind of. Got to exhaust. No, I just take off the infantry out of the Sonic training. Genetics lab, three hours bamboo. Might be good to take you. So that's infantry, infantry, gunner, gunner. Scoot. Oh, 15 hours for Richard Hawk. 15 hours then. What about a sniper? Nope, no sniper unless you exhaust. We have to exhaust one of my master sergeants, I guess. How about a mech? How about a swim? Yeah, we got flight for heaters. Okay, friendly in six hours. He's got everything but pack master. That should be alright. So I just gotta wait 15 hours for Richard Hawk. Well, I guess. Hey, and enhanced plasma. That's handy. Very handy. We love that shit. Good timing. Two hours for Richard Hawk. Get those infantry. These two. Wait. Only one of them is a master sergeant. Shit. Okay, get the master sergeant out. The other one is a tech sergeant. I've already got two in the sick bay, though. They'll be back soon. I don't really want to exhaust another one. I suppose I could take a tech sergeant. You are losing bring him on and VPT. That is a considerable amount of damage. 
considerable amount. Hmm. Urban Lodge. Let me check. Urban Lodge. Check. XCOM Companion. Urban Lodge Terror or Urban Block Terror. Urban Block Terror site could be commercial alley, commercial restaurant, commercial street, commercial store, portent, nuked city or truck stop. Okay, so one way or another, this map's probably gonna be fucked. Probably don't lowball the team. You're probably gonna take someone really good. Probably gonna take a, a, a really good team for this mission. Even though we only need one Civ, this is a dangerous mission, I think. And this Boo is here. No iron skin. But I think we just made an iron skin gunner, didn't we? Yes, bamboo cutter is iron skin. Yes, good, good. So bamboo is here to fuck hard. If Terra's gonna max anyway, why even go on mission? Because you lose the country instantly. Otherwise, and everyone on the continent gets mad at you. Basically, bad things are gonna happen no matter what, but if you don't take your bad things and your lumps, things get even worse. Is how long war makes sure you don't just ignore missions. Things will get worse. You're just gonna have to exhaust Kathy, I think. I don't, I don't feel good enough at the game right now to take a tech sergeant on a potentially very dangerous mission of ethereals and sectopods. Yeah, you gotta take your Johnny Lumps, that's right. Shogun. Uh, friendly can come. And I also need to exhaust a sniper, unfortunately. Load out. Check, check everyone's gear. Check, check it, check it. So Bamboo is the strongest you can get, health and DR wise, I think. 3.5 DR. Um, plus all this other crap. I suppose of mine merge and shit, but, but unassisted, the strongest, I think. Nite's back at it again. And folks, I'll probably play this terror mission and be, be done for the day, I think. I'll probably end at my usual time, even though I started like an hour late. I am just feeling, uh... Tired and out of sorts. I think it's just part of the, uh... Withdrawal symptoms and growing pains of getting back in XCOM after a while off it. My apologies for that. But we'll try to get through this mission and then play some more tomorrow as well. Astro says, do you actually think you'll complete a terror mission in one hour? Sometimes. Sometimes terrors are quicker than other missions. By nature. Banny says, can get even stronger with swamp macrophages because true acid immunity equals thin man immunity as they're only hope to go through the there is acid. That's true. Has come through fucking wind. Not yet. Not yet, my friends. But one day, just like Armor 4, one day there will be an XCOM 3 and we will play it. And we will enjoy it. And it will be a, t a good time. I don't have bugs, no doubt. As any good product does. Alright, I think we're ready here. Anything big chat? Or does this look good? Shogun, medic, infantry, infantry gunner, gunner, scout, sniper. I believe this is right. Let's go. 
Hang on. Fast as fuck. Fast as fuck. Alright, that's better. I could also give you... The Psy Hat for a better mind phrase, but... I think fast as fuck to save civs will be good here. Yeah, I got my smokes. Let's go. Does FX come through as well like EW unless like DBZ? You know, it's funny because... It's like what Sammy was saying about Trump Battlefield Portal earlier, where it's like, I don't really care for this new BF2042 much when I played it, but I'm still interested in playing, like, just BF3 and shit in a new engine, you know what I mean? Like, similar feel, but new engine, upgraded. I would love that for XCOM EW. I would love to just play this game, but, like, on a new engine that allows a proper Steam Workshop. This game with XCOM 2 Steam Workshop would be fucking incredible. Absolutely fucking incredible. The